Yo, what's up guys, same exact outfit because we honestly, we just wanted to check out more. So we're gonna knock out another 15 minutes or so of this. When we were on it last time, we was figuring out why we live in this Western society where we don't allow our dogs to have testicles anymore. It's very weird. So <laughs> I guess we're neutering society in a lot of ways. Mm -hmm. Let's go. So here's something I saw the other day I've not seen in a long time. You know what I saw? I saw balls on a dog. <laughs> <laughs> hey, remember that shit? <laughs> Dude, I have not seen that since like the late 90s. I was literally sitting there looking like, I remember that shit. Dogs used to have balls. I remember that. Remember that? You, I don't remember you that. Yeah, look at his balls, you know, and everybody would laugh. It's about the same time you can get N64 games. No, but somewhere <laughs> I don't think along I looked. the line, it became socially acceptable to cut your dog's balls off, whether there's anything wrong with them or not, under the whole fear of like, well, if we don't do it, he's going to fuck another dog. They're going to make more dogs. And what are we going to do with all these dogs? <laughs> We're not gonna have homes? What are we gonna do? I love that shit, what are we gonna do? It's like, dude, they're animals, just let them go. <laughs> they'll be fine, they got fangs, they got claws, they'll form packs, they'll help with the go. obesity problem in this country, you know? <laughs> you come stumbling out of a cheesecake factory, just like I heard a fucking <laughs> Rottweiler running at you. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta run to get FUC, That's what I was thinking, bro, that'd be crazy. Style, right? He's a diamond. <laughs> mm -hmm. No, I'm pro dog balls. <laughs> <laughs> I am. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. Dogs should be able to, you know, fuck who he wants to and... <laughs> it's ridiculous. <laughs> no, I want to get a dog. I want to get a dog. I've been dying to get a dog. And immediately, my girls immediately, well, we have to get it from getting a dog, we have to get him fixed. I'm like, why do we have to get him fixed? Well, you know, that's what you're supposed to do. I don't, I'm like, well, you're not a veterinarian. She's like, well, neither are you. Great, then it's a stalemate. Neither one of us knows what the fuck we're talking about. So let's not start cutting Just anything the off balls, the animal, yeah. right? <laughs> So of course, she's a female, she's gotta go out and prove me wrong. Goes out and gets a book, okay, look at this. See, it says right here, um, you get your dog fixed, he's less likely to be aggressive, okay? Now, now listen, God, you're such an asshole, just listen. <laughs> and it said, he's less likely to rip up the furniture, you know, he's acting, you know. I was just like, sweetheart, when we were a kid, we had a family dog, all right? He had his balls. <laughs> okay, yeah, sure, occasionally he humped your leg, you know? <laughs> but generally speaking, he just laid around, he begged for food, he came home, he was excited. He wasn't wearing a raincoat, like jerking off or something, you know? He lived, he lived for 15 years without incident with his balls, you know? No sexual harassment, nothing. <laughs> He didn't get caught up in no, no I, Me Too scandals. I think, it's, I think it's weird. How we're, like human beings, we're trying to control the population of animals. You know, like anytime the deer population gets out of control, some dude would literally get on TV and be like, "All right, the deer population is up to about 17, 1800. Realistically, we need to get that number down to about five, six of them. All right. <laughs> so start them off. You got a gun? Fucking shoot one in the face. <laughs> I'm just sitting at home like, what are the deer doing that's so bad for the environment, you know? They're gonna eat all the fucking grass. <laughs> we were just talking trees, about that. Just nibbling. <laughs> just nibbling. Can, hold on. We were just talking, guys, the other day about where we never seen a deer like asleep. But I never exactly look for one either. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you know, if there's so many, you think like at some point you'd see one sleeping. Uh, maybe if you I live don't in the know. woods. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> So the deer didn't put a hole in the ozone layer, all right? That's not a bunch of dogs <laughs> talking up the freeways. It's us. We can fuck all we want. <laughs> no one's going to stop. You could, have, you could have 15 kids, have a 16th on the way. No one's going to get on TV and be like, all right, Paul is still fucking. <laughs> Sign them off. You got a gun. Fucking shoot him in the face. <laughs> do what you got to do. This guy, he's out of control. Man, this special really did take a left turn from last <laughs> video, didn't it? <laughs> you can just keep banging away. You can just keep banging away, making one useless, mediocre, not going to invent shit kid after another. <laughs> No, I don't understand people like that. So don't you realize after your third loser kid, you don't have the DNA to make somebody special? <laughs> <laughs> You're just making more in the way people just walking around, looking up at shit as you're trying to get down the sidewalk, you know? <laughs> oh, you know that dude, whenever you go into the deli, there's always that guy in front of you who doesn't know what he wants. Oh, what, kind of, what kind of bread is that? It's like, dude, stop making that fucking guy. <laughs> stop making that Jesus guy. Jesus Christ, that dude, that dude is everywhere. <laughs> He's an MPZ. Honestly, That's why yeah. I love old people. I love old people. They always with their family photos. Cracks me up. They always like, well, they're all proud. Like, well, we had five kids, and then they all had five, and da 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 da. <laughs> it's like, yeah, none of you did shit. <laughs> I don't recognize anybody in that photo. You just made 30 people who are all taking a shit every day that ends up in a river. <laughs> That's not 
that's a family photo. That's an environmental <laughs> disaster, and you framed it. <laughs> no, that's my solution for global warming. Everybody's talking about cars and oil. That doesn't matter. It's just too many people. You know, it's too many people doing it. Just that, you know, you want to help the environment. Just stop fucking. <laughs> right? I'm not saying stop fucking, but you know, pull out. <laughs> you can still have your fun, right? You gotta stop looking at babies like they're these cute things, all right? They're not. They are. They are cute, but most of them they're just gonna grow up. They're just gonna end up being another shithead in like an SUV <laughs> that doesn't pull out far enough into the intersection, right? <laughs> now you gotta wait a whole nother light to make a left, and you're just sitting there losing your shit, screaming at your windshield with this dude who didn't need to exist. <laughs> didn't need to it's exist. like there's no reason for that guy. We got that guy. <laughs> That's crazy, bro. <laughs> Bill Burr seems like the type to get mad in traffic, too. I could just see him. Was he a northerner, though? Aren't they more pr traffic That's mad? That's my plan. Yeah, just make babies people. illegal for like the next like, 25, 30 years, right? Yeah. That'd be great. Think about it. Somebody's born, three people are born every second to one person dying, right? So if you're not making anybody, it's like, bam, somebody just died. Somebody just fell down some stairs. Somebody just tripped over a skateboard, right? And you know what? Fucking lanes just opening up on the highway, right? <laughs> You know, Population you get to control. Sooner, you're in a better mood, dude. You get it down to like thirty thousand people. Thirty thousand. Thirty thousand people would be the shit. All right, Super Bowl comes around, everybody can go. <laughs> everyone can go. It's gonna be the worst Super Bowl everybody game ever. Go. Twenty-two, of you get to play. The odds of you making it in the NFL, it's ridiculous. <laughs> that would be dude, a bad you NFL. Suck, you could still, you could block on punts. You'd be like a wedge breaker, or maybe be that guy holding the first down marker. Like, yeah, I'm fucking doing something. <laughs> You wouldn't have to recycle. There, there was 30,000 people, man. Everybody here, you could literally drive your own tank. You could drive a tank. You could throw toxic waste out the top. You could shoot a bald eagle right in the head. There's plenty of them. Plenty of them. They're shitting all over my tank. What the fuck am I supposed to do? So basically, in Bill Burr's mind, all these people are an obstacle to his fun. Like, he just wants to go crazy. No, out they're, there. they're in, yeah, they're in the lanes around him. <laughs> Essentially, they're a like, lane opens up when someone dies. Basically, this whole fantasy is because people kind of get on his nerves in traffic. <laughs> I don't read, okay? Seriously, none of my shit is researched, you know? But out of all the bullshit I'm talking up here, I think I'm onto something with this, you know? It's like I'm eliminating people, but like no one has to die. He thin us. That's it. Just stop making. Dude, we're going to end up like China. They got like over a billion people just, just jam packed. Every day is like the subway. If you just standing there, you can't even fall asleep. Oh shit, sorry about that. <laughs> just jam packed. You never think about that shit? Just standing there. We're gonna be sitting there. First of all, how easy is it to get away with the crime over in China? You know? First of all, you pick somebody's pocket, you don't even, you don't even have to run away. You just fucking weave your way back into the crowd. Just fucking stand over here. The guy's standing there like, dude, somebody just took my wallet. Dude, he's right over there. He's right over there. He's right there. Dude, he's got black hair. Five foot five, he's dressed like a <laughs> He's right over there. <laughs> no, that's, what, that's where we're going to be headed. How many more strip malls can you make? <laughs> Places to get donuts and people to get their nails done. Everybody's all excited. <laughs> this area is really vape shops. Exploding. So many vape shops. Yeah, man. this is 2008, like, no, so it wasn't around. But fucking, In our hometown, we have at least 17. <laughs> it's crazy. I gotta get my act together, man. I'm really, uh, I'm really at a critical point in my life, you know? <laughs> I am. I'm, I'm serious. I'm a, I'm a fucking psycho, man. I, I've realized this about myself. Like, you know, I'm not married, and I'm really getting to that critical age where, you know, pretty soon I'm just, you know, I gotta pick a street. So he wasn't married at this point. Either I'm, I'm gonna get married, you know? Or I'm just gonna end up being that creepy old guy hanging out in a bar, you know, red chest hair hanging out. Like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> No, seriously, I don't know what's, uh, what's wrong with me. I just, uh, I, th I think I, I just stayed single too long, man. It's just brutal. All right, guys, that was like a good place to end it because uh, he segued into something different. So we'll do that in a separate video. But that was dog balls and population control, I guess, right? Mm -hmm. All right, guys, that was freaking funny, man. So funny. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know why we decided we got to kill off all the deer. But there's <laughs> honestly, I could see it, though, man, because especially driving cars, you'd run into them. There's so many deer by us. Every right. time we look outside, there's like... 30. My aunt one time even got shot because someone thought she was a deer. Yeah. <laughs> Just a side note. Her maiden name's Barnhill. <laughs> if that explains anything. <laughs> I guess the biggest thing I'm noticing about this is Bill Burr had stage presence since day mm -hmm. one. This is his first special, but he's killing it. Right. Like I said, we man, have seen some more recent ones and honestly from this one it seems like he hasn't missed a beat he's still the same like he kind of seems the exact same yeah he know? seems the same goofy like right. very out there kind of like you know borderline vulgar <laughs> same guy like comment subscribe man hit us up on patreon if you guys want to see some movie reactions we do react to movies on another channel the octobers and we bet with more bill burr so let's go